Hello, this is Amin and you are watching session 55 of ASP.NET Core MVC tutorial. In this session, we are going to sort a list inside uh, or MVC ASP.NET Core uh, web application. For this purpose, we need to do some changes inside the view and add the anchor element for the header of the table that we have which display the list of costs. And as you can see, we can send the status of sort to the controller with ASP wrote with the uh, ID that we need. And then we are going to change some changes inside the controller and pass the sort by phrase to the repository. That's why we need to uh, do a change inside our interface. And after that, we should do the changes inside the uh, respective uh, repository method, which is in this tutorial is get cost list. Let's flip to Visual Studio to implement the required changes. This is the project that we have been working so far throughout this tutorial. And first I'm going to cost index view and here you can see I have the uh, table header and the title which we need in top of our table. Let's first run the project to see what we have and explain what uh, I want to have at the end of this session. As you can see, project is up and running. And here inside the cost list, I have the table header, ID, amount, category, comment, and payment method. In this session, I want to make amount and payment method uh, hyperlink. And when the user click on the amount or payment method, the list will be sorted based on the user request. And first time that I click on amount, the list will be sorted based on the amount in the ascending format. And once more, if I click on the amount, it would be in the descending uh, sort format. And also the same for payment method. Let's back to Visual Studio to implement the uh, explain changes. Here, I should add a anchor element and put the amount inside this one. And here I use tag helper, ASP action, and I know it should be redirected to index. And also I need to pass a query string to the controller for passing the sort by phrase. And that's why I'm using ASP wrote and its root is sort by and here I can send my phrase which I want to implement the sort based on that one but as I want to make the amount a toggle I mean first one that I click on the amount the sort will be sorting uh, uh, based on amount in ascending format and again if I click on that one I want to change it to descending. That's why I should have access to query string uh, inside this view, same as the task that I have done here with context request query. That's why I'm using C sharp code here and inside this block of code, I assume a variable which I call it sort by and I use context dot request dot query and inside this one I check sort by query string which I use here that's why I copy and paste it here if it is equal amount it means I already clicked on amount and the list is sorted based on amount in ascending format. That's why you return amount descending. 
Otherwise, it means I haven't clicked on the amounts or I selected another value. That's why return amount to sort by. Then here I use this value which filled by this condition and I said send a ASP wrote sort by with value of sort by. And also I'm doing the same for payment method. That's why I'm copying the code from here and paste it here. And again, I use this code. And I replace payment method with amount. And here, as I have introduced this variable, I don't need this var. And here I said payment method. You can use any meaningful uh, phrase here, uh, and you don't need to repeat this phrase. And I use this phrase to sort my list, and you can use any phrase that you want. And here I mentioned payment method descent. Let me save the changes and back to iCast repository. And here I add another string value and I call it sort by. I save the changes. Then I'm going first to a static cast repository to add these changes. And as I explained in the previous session, I haven't implemented these changes inside the static repository. And then I'm going to SQL Server Cast Repository. And inside Get Cast List, I'm adding another input parameter. And I call it Sort By. Then here, before the returning the cast list to the controller, I'm using switch and sort by. And here I check the value of sort by with the case. If the value would be equal amount, it means I want to sort this list based on amount in ascending format. Let's go here and copy the exact phrase. And here I'm going to sort the list and return it to cast list. For doing sort, I'm using order, order by, and then I'm using a lambda expression. And I said, sort it based on amount. And then convert it again to list. And also, you know, the, uh, the break is required after each case. And next case is amount descending. I'm copying from here and then paste it here. And again, somehow the same. Just here, I'm using order by descending. I'm doing the same step for payment method. And just here, I change this one to payment method. And again, here, payment method descending. I copy it here. And just here, I change it to payment method. Also, each case needs a default step, which doesn't affect the list. And just I send back the list. Let me save the changes. 
and then I'm going to cost controller and here inside the index it's expect to have one more input parameter and here I should add sort by this value is filled here inside the view and I pass it sort by to the controller and again I send it to the repository I save the changes and run the project once more project is built successfully let me refresh this page and you can see amount and hyper method are changed to hyperlink and first time that I click on the amount you can see I have the list sorted based on amount in ascending format and here you can see I have sort amount once more if I click on the list you can see the list will be sorted again based on amount on descending format and it is the same for payment method first time that I click it the, pay, the list is sorted based on payment method in ascending format and once more if I click on the payment method you can see I have the list sorted based on payment method in descending form. But if I'm going to next page, I miss the data which is related to sorting. And as I explained earlier, when I implement the pagination, I need to add this query string to all the parts that I'm using the query string. And let's back to Visual Studio to do the changes in all the parts. That's why I should add the required query string here, here, and also here as well. Uh, here I have page, search for, and search by, and also I should add sort by to have the uh, sort by when I'm using the paging let's first add it here and I said sort by would be equal uh, I'm copying this piece of code and paste it here and I said sort by with these changes sorting is solved when I'm using the paging and also here I should add the required ASP root for search for for search by and also for page let me add them here and I said ASP dash root dash page and its value would be equal something like this one just i should change it to page i need one more asp role this time for search by and its value should be equal search for i should close it here and now it is fine and also i it is for search by and the next thing that i should add it is asp dash road dash search for which would be equal to search for query string and here again I miss it I add the page query string search by query string and search for query string to the amount sort anchor element 
I'm copying this code and paste it here. That's it. I'm adding the required query string to the sort by amount to the sort by payment method and also to the uh, pagination. Let's save the changes and run the project once more. Project is built successfully. I refresh this page. And here I click clear search. And I said sort the list based on amount. You can see I have the list sorted. And when I click on the second page, I can see the rest. If I click again on this one, I have the sort in the descending format and the minimum number you can see at the end of the list. And if I return to the first page, you can see the highest amount is in the top. This is the same for payment method. And here it is uh, sort based on alphabet. And when I go to the second page, I can have the rest of the information in the second page. Also, if I'm going to sort by category and category B, you can see I have the list unsorted with B. And if I click on amount, you can see I have the list sorted with the search criteria that I have applied. And also you can sort it based on the payment method. And with these changes, I have implemented sort for amount and payment method. And you can implement the sort on this list for category and comment. And I reviewed the quotes again. Uh, I changed the title of the table to anchor element. And I used the required query string to be passed to the controller for both amount and payment method. And also I do some changes inside the pagination to pass the stored data and store status to the controller. And then I'm doing some changes inside the uh, ICAS repository. And I add the sort by to the get cast list. And I implement the changes here with this switch case. And I sort the list based on the requested category. Thank you for watching this session. And in this session, we implement sort on or web application, which we implemented with ASP.NET Core MVC. And we use Entity Framework Core for uh, have relation with the database. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and put your comments below in the comment box and share this video and like this video. Don't forget to follow us on our social media for upcoming sessions. Once more, thank you for being with us.